Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. So NVS Audio has teamed up with Team Money Cycle University. We are doing the first of many classes on motorcycle audio. Um, this class will be free. We're trying to get as many people to participate as possible. We're trying to get as much knowledge out there as possible. Um, this class is gonna fill up quickly, so please head over to the Team Money Cycle Facebook page or the Team Money Cycle website or reach out to Ricky. Um, there's a limited number of seats available. It's not this Saturday, it's the following Saturday down in Maryland. Um, it's, gonna, it's part of the SOS show, it's gonna be an incredible show. Uh, I believe the class is either two or three hours. It's Saturday afternoon. He's gonna do a live on Monday explaining all the details. I'm just trying to get the information out there so people can try and clear their schedule because I know it's short notice. The class is gonna be teaching the basics of DSP and how to property plan, how to properly plan a build on your motorcycle. How, if you plan on building a competition bike, if you plan on building a parking lot pimp bike, the steps that you need to take to make sure that you have a successful build and how to help you decide which class you wanna be in and what the difference is. We build a lot, we specialize in six and eight speaker bikes here in the shop, but we build everything. We have to sit down and talk with our clients to figure out what they're trying to do because you build a competition bike completely different than you build a parking lot pimp or a rider bike. Competition bikes require a low speaker count and a huge amplifier power component. So then you have to do stuff like lithium batteries and raise your capacitance and amp hour calculations and current draw calculations. So the bike is only played for a few minutes at a time. So you're trying to get the most batteries on the bike as possible, the largest amps possible, so you can get the most output across the lowest speaker count possible. That's when you're building a bike for competition. When you're building a rider bike, you want a higher speaker count and a lower power count. That way it doesn't beat up on your electrical system of your bike. There's all details that we'll go over. There's ways to calculate current draw of amplifiers. We're gonna teach you all that in the class. Um, I want to see as many of you out there if you can take the weekend with your family and come out uh sos always hosts a great show then um uh, if you want to make your bike sound better if you want to learn a little bit more or if you're in the planning stages of a build you're going to do this winter this class is going to be a valuable class it will help you save some time and money making the mistakes that most people make buying the wrong stuff if you don't plan properly then just plan to fail uh, we have a couple of big bills that we're doing this winter and we're sitting down mapping it out with our clients now because because of COVID, it's literally impossible to get parts. So you got to order the parts and you need months in advance to make sure they're available. You got to make sure all the parts work together. But um, the show is not tomorrow, the following Saturday, uh, which I believe is the 25th. It's in Maryland. Uh, it's a team money cycle show and it's a Team Money Cycles University training class on proper planning of your audio systems for your motorcycles. And it's gonna go over a few topics. I know DSP is a major part of the topic. Um, proper speaker placement, proper speaker choice, proper amplifier choice, and uh, hope to see you guys there.